So the last time we caught up with the Liver King, things were not going very well for him. First off, the man has aged decades in the last calendar year. He announced he would be going back on the roids. He started this whole family arc with his content, including eating after his dogs, which was just downright disgusting. Just look at the spit. Ugh. Other than that, the Liver King was sending electro waves into his heart and trying to push this new image onto his followers as some sort of primal 1960s Italian gangster figure. And so over the last couple of months, it's safe to say that the Liver King has continued to spiral. And one thing I found very interesting about his rebrand is the fact that he's now fully leaning into his most embarrassing moment when he and his ancestral lifestyle were essentially outed as a fraud and he was exposed for taking a massive amount of gear. I mean, this is his current TikTok bio. 11k per month steroid scammer king and I made a fortune. And despite the fact that both the general public and his fans alike have kind of seen behind the curtain at this point, he's still out here trying to promote his way of living as if it is something to be proud of. If you're not building, you're destroying you. That's precisely why you're a loser. You live in a low state. You give and get low vibrations, a low life from below. That was me. I hated it. I changed. And then there is his insane looking face, okay? This is the face of a man who is going through a midlife crisis. And I guess that Twitter is doing so bad at this point that it can only afford the likes of Liver King advertising on its platform. And so I've been getting all these different Liver King messages. I hardly wipe. Don't consume worthless fibers and there just ain't worthless waste. A daily dose of eggshells adds a firmness that shapes what most men celebrate as the perfect shit. So the man is quite literally shit posting. And I get to take one every morning like clockwork. I call it my royal shit. It's crispy, dense, and yes, it smells horrific. But only to others apparently, okay? He takes a big whiff inside that toilet every morning. I still check with the test wipe, but rarely does it require reinforcements. Cut the crap, aka cut down on fibers and starches and assess your libido in 30 days. And the one-eyed bandit here also decided to attach this video to his powerful message about taking a shit, where he is quite literally just eating eggs right out of the coop, okay? Pretty much right out of the chicken's ass. And listen, I know this man's trying to live this primal lifestyle, but you cannot tell me that is sanitary by any means. And the fact that he is still trying to pull off this shtick, and he's still trying to say like, oh, this is the healthy lifestyle, this is how I obtain this physique, when everyone knows that there's more roids flowing through his body than the 1990s Yankees locker room, is comical to say the least. And you guys might have been wondering, well, what was up with that eye patch that he was sporting? Well, apparently at this point, the Liver King's health has gotten so poor that there's a high possibility that he might lose his eye. All the doctors keep saying I'm gonna lose the eye. Good, I have another eye. Everything in life is a gift. I sure as hell don't want to lose the eye. I mean, Jesus Christ, Liver King, take a look in the mirror and realize the absolute embarrassment you have become. Like anyone who took this guy's word as Bond is probably extremely disappointed by now. This reminds me of when I flew to Boston last year to watch the Red Sox and I was very disappointed. I traveled all the way across the country to watch my team and my view for the first game was obstructed. On top of that, I had bought these tickets a couple of months in advance in fear that the game would sell out and the tickets actually ended up being a lot cheaper in the time leading up to the event. If I had known about game time back then, I probably would not have had these problems. With them, you can always see the view from your seat before you make your purchase. All it really takes is two clicks and you could be heading to a sporting, music, comedy, and even theater event near you. You can even buy tickets from these guys up to an hour after an event starts. Game time has flash deals and zone deals where you can receive massive savings. And they are so confident in their pricing that if you find tickets in the same section and row for less, they will credit you 110% of the difference. For me, the Spurs are coming to Austin soon to play the Nuggets, and I'm definitely going to take advantage to watch that French man. So download the Game Time app, create an account, and use my code Jamari for $20 off your first purchase. That's J A M A R I Jamari to redeem my deal on all kinds of tickets. Terms do apply. Download Game Time today. 
last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. And at this point, you have the Liver King out here trying all kinds of marketing tactics, including nudity. Here's his message about sleeping on a bed, where he says, Keep your soft ass bitch made bed. Comfort is not good for the organism. Comfort is good to keep you where they want you. Soft, weak, worthless, weaponless. Take the road to resistance and transform. And what steroid bound Pennywise is talking about here is sleeping on what's essentially a pallet that things get delivered on. And Liver King sleeps in a wooden plank bed. Three reasons. There's no off-gassing chemicals that are possibly carcinogenic, but definitely hormone disrupting. Two, the height of this bed is only 12 inches. So the flexibility that's required to get in and out of it, I get to keep it for the rest of my life. There's also no metal springs, no real mattress which prevents you from getting your deepest, most restorative sleep. You can see here, the only thing that separates me from the wooden planks is a couple of sheets. Now, was there any reason he had to be naked for this video? I do not know. I guess that kind of falls into like the midlife crisis category. And to me, I just think, why are you out here preaching about like hormone disruption? When for years now, you've been pumping an insane amount of unnatural shit into your body? And you guys know, they say that the eyes tell all, and these are just not looking very healthy to me. And the thing is, we know you own a bed, big dog. Look at this clip that he uploaded three years back. And I'm sure his ass has a big old tempur somewhere in that Liver King mansion. And I told you guys he was really leaning into the whole steroid king thing. And he's also now leaning into the whole my haters make me famous arc. He even did like a hate challenge where he says Liver King's $1,000 a day hate giveaway challenge. The most liked, quoted, and retweeted hate message earns $1,000 per day for 100 days straight. So this man's really out here giving away $100,000 all in the name of hate. He says the top rank from last year was fake natty, con swindling no good narcissist scammer. I mean to me he just looks like a tiny ass Chuck Norris. He's also still out here posting this type of promotional material. Liver King's Barbarian, a sacred rite of passage. It's every man's birthright. As of this video, December 2023, I've clocked 133 Barbarians and one Super Barbarian. It and just wait till you hear what the Barbarian and Super Barbarian workout is. 70 pound kettlebell, 70 pounds in a backpack, 120 pounds on top of a sled, 20 pound ankle weights, one mile a fucking hell. Train the barbarian, test your barbarian, and cage your motherfucking barbarian! I mean, what the fuck is this man training for? You expect me to believe that he walked a mile underwater with 20 pound weights strapped to his legs, carrying these 50 pound dumbbells in each hand with a fucking sled behind him? And I also thought this was absolutely hilarious. Liver King acted like he was gonna get on the uh, giving out money wave. Before we take off. How many do we have? Three of them? We have three. People. Yeah. About to go tip the guys that are doing all the heavy lifting. I give something much more valuable than money. Watch this. And these workers are probably thinking, oh, finally, I'm the one getting blessed. I've seen this on TikTok, I've seen it on Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. And finally, God decided that today would be the day that he looked upon me and blessed me with a very small fraction of an influencer's income. Liver King Bar. Liver King Bar. <laughs> You're gonna have to split it in half. One for each of you. So you can split it three ways. So will you share half of that with the pilot also? The entire tip. And my man is really out here giving out the Liver King Bars. Wielding my dominant husband sword to forge the bond above. Fill it with love and model excellence and relationship. My complimentary opposite the balance to my blade, my lioness, my soulmate. You attract your complementary opposite. So if you want a 10, you have to create internal value in yourself to become a 10. If you want a two, remain a two. I'll take a 10 and I call her my queen. And in all honesty, it's a big shout out to the liver queen man for putting up with his midlife crisis and also putting up with his undeniable stench. Like I'm sure it's not easy to be married to a man who smells like a petting zoo. And even the community notes are out here frying his ass under his very own advertisements, where they say what brought Liver King his ripped appearance and close to nature body were IGF-1 hormones and up to 100 milligrams of testosterone per week, costing close to $11,000 per month. Look at this, I got a hot pound of tofu. Only 29 ingredients, 
none of which are found in nature, all the soil to express my highest and most estrogenic form. Here's what little king the time for dinner today. And listen, Liver King, you cannot be out here trolling vegans when you're still out here doing all this nasty shit. Frog tongue. Get some. So get down on some tongue. And wait till you see how big my tongue is tomorrow. That's right. Liver King's got the biggest tongue. I mean, this is some serial killer activity if I've ever seen it. I mean, this one is just beyond disgusting. I don't even know what he's eating here. To me, it looks like shit. Mmm. Primal meatloaf. And then we also got the raw variety. Mmm. So we got some delicious femur bones. We're gonna scoop the bone marrow all the way out. And then we got the king plate. Testicle liver bone marrow heart. Otherwise known as king for dessert. The whole feast. Protein shake. And the liver king bar with more liver. I mean, if you're still out here buying this guy's supplements, you must have the IQ of fucking Patrick Starr. And Liver King's been a little snappy when it comes to the haters lately, okay? He posted this video of him eating two T-bone steaks, and someone replies, how many steroids have you taken? To which he says, several less than you need. And this comment really says it all. What a fraud. Snappy comebacks aren't going to outrun the knowledge that you were using $10,000 a month in PEDs. And I just really think, like, Liver King, what is the point of trying to keep up with and kind of update this persona? Like, if you're already a rich, successful person who lives in a mansion, I would think has, you know, millions of dollars tucked away. Bow out gracefully. Why make your whole family get involved with this entire thing? Because honestly, this shit is just getting more embarrassing by the day. He seems to be having more and more health issues. And I wanna know, who's out here watching these videos like, oh yeah, that's someone who I wanna model my life after. I need to eat raw testicles, I need to eat shit. I wanna eat after my dog, I mean, it's just crazy. But either way, I wanna know what you guys think about the Liver King down below. Just a quick little update on our guy. I also want to encourage you guys to check out the sponsor of today's video, Game Time. But as you guys know, we spin your boy the tan Superman. And some other fake influencers out here need to be covered, so I'm out.